Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out Rare Beauty for the first time. This, I know I'm late to the party, I'm late to the trend. I felt like I really wanted to purchase some of the products myself. This was not sent to me, this is not sponsored, this is just honest truth about Rare Beauty. If you are in the hunt for some of the products, then go ahead and keep watching. This is the look that I could come up with. It's like a monochromatic, like very natural, like everyday type of look. I'm super excited to show you guys how I got this look and how the products worked out for me because I do have oily skin. That is something that stopping you from getting the, the products, then just go ahead and keep watching. I will be letting you know how the products work throughout the day in the description box. Thank you so much for being here and let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited to try this. I have heard everybody rave about Rare Beauty. However, I haven't purchased anything until this moment because I'm like, okay, let's let's just give it a try. You know, I'm intrigued. Bought the foundation, the concealer, the liquid eyeshadow. Oh, the blush. Obviously, that was my favorite part. And then the lip cream. So we're gonna try everything today. It is one fluid ounce. It is a liquid touch weightless foundation shade. 240W, a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. So I really like the packaging. The foundation looks very liquidy. So let's just go ahead and apply it and see how I feel about this. Hopefully I picked the right shade, honestly. Okay, no, I think we'll be fine. So yeah, it is super liquidy just first impressions and i'm gonna go a little bit heavy-handed because i do have a lot to cover and i'm just gonna start buffing that in so i think it's gonna be a little bit too yellow maybe not i don't know it's blending out super easily full full coverage but i don't think it's supposed to be so when i saw so it was so liquidy i didn't think there was gonna be a coverage but that evened out my skin tone in like two seconds. So I really like that it feels super weightless. I feel like I have nothing on my face, honestly. You apply foundation and you instantly feel like the coverage, I guess, like the cakiness of the product, not this time. So I really appreciate that. This is definitely like a satin finish. It's not like super dewy. If you were worried that that would be the case with this one because of how natural the line is supposed to be. It does have a satin finish. It's like a skin finish foundation. So I'm over the fully matte foundation days, <laughs> at least for my skin type. Oh, you are supposed to shake it before you use. I just read the direct. Why, why would I read the directions after I apply it? I don't know. It does have a little ball in there like the nail polish. <laughs> Word of advice, read the directions before you use this. <laughs> Moving on to the concealer. This is a, oh no, this is the blush. Here we go. Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer, shade 170W. So this is like tiny and I feel like, ooh, I'm not really sure if this is going to be my shade. It looks too bright. So it's darker inside than what the packaging looks like. And I really like the applicator. It's very like different. It's kind of like squared in a way. I'm not really sure how to describe this. And the consistency looks like it's going to be full coverage because it's so thick. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be way too light for me. I think you already figured that out. <laughs> I can hear you screaming at me. What are you doing? I'm just going to kind of like leave it for a few minutes. I've been doing that lately and I find that the coverage really helps. So I really like this flat like Mentos looking thing on top because it's really easy to open and close. So I really enjoy that. Let's see what, what are your claims. You in French. I don't read French. Here we go. A moisturizing buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into the skin for undetectable cake-free coverage. So we will be the judge of that. I'm just going to take my little stippling brush and then just start tapping. Yeah, this is way too bright. So we're going to have to go in heavy with a bronzer or something <laughs> to balance the skin out. So I'm just going to like blend out the edges for a sec and then leave the inner corner on for a little longer. I think it's a little bit drying uh, i'm not really sure it's supposed to be hydrating moisturizing is the word that they use but it says buildable so maybe we can build it up we'll see well besides the point that it is definitely not my right shade it did brighten my under eyes a lot it didn't fully cover them because you can still see the darkness peeking through but it did brighten so let's just apply a little bit more in the inner corner right here is where I have the most 
noticeable darkness. So I'm just gonna put a couple dots like up here, here, and on the nose just to even out a little bit. Let's wait a few seconds. I should have probably wet my sponge and tried to use my sponge today. Why am I so lazy? Okay, so I'm gonna blend out these first. I feel like my skin is looking a little bit cakey, but that's just because of my fine lines, so that is not the product's fault. Okay, so it's definitely buildable. It did cover a little bit more, so I enjoyed that. This looks pretty good. I feel like after I set it, it's gonna look even better. And yes, I do have to set these products. I know Rare Beauty does not sell any powder products, just like eyeshadows and stuff. I have oily skin. I do have to set everything. Otherwise, everything is just gonna move around all day and then I'm gonna look like a grease ball at the end of the day. So, especially my under eyes. <laughs> to set my under eyes, I'm gonna use my Bare Min Minerals Concealer Powder in Well Rest. Well, can I speak today? Well Rested. This is a great under eye brightener. It's just like a powder concealer, which... I've been really loving for my under eyes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the difference this makes. Not only does it provide more coverage, but it totally brightened my under, my under eyes. And I cannot speak today, so I apologize in advance. Oh, look at the difference. I am really loving this lately. This is in the shade joy and i believe this is is this the matte or the dewy i'm not really sure the packaging is so cute and i've heard that you only need a little bit that this does go a long way so i'm kind of glad that it's so big because it's going to last me a long time i don't think i'm going to ever like finish up the entire product so i like the applicator it's like a little bit round whereas the concealer is just like a like a rectangle i guess i don't know so i'm just gonna like do that much and I feel like that's a lot. <laughs> Just blend that out. So yeah, that blended out so easily. Wow. Work a little bit fast because you see how like the blush left a little bit like of a circle there. So you, I suggest you do one cheek at a time, but that was so effortless. And I kind of want to build it up. Like am I crazy for wanting to build it up? I look flushed and it took like two seconds to blend it out. So I'm just gonna add a little more. I'm probably gonna regret this, but I don't care. It's just makeup, right? It washes off. Yeah, this is what I want my blush to look like. There we go. Didn't I just say I have to do one cheek at a time? Like, am I dumb? <laughs> I'm not really a fan of cream products because I'm just not that comfortable working with them. This powder i feel like it's much easier but this like i love it it blended out so easily yay 10 out of 10 for the blush i knew that i knew that i was gonna love that i just knew it <laughs> on to actually let's just fill in our brows and then we'll be back to the eyeshadow okay be right back <laughs> let's just pretend that my eyebrows don't look like this i have been having some personal issues with them lately <laughs> I feel like they look too dark and uneven, but we're just gonna move past that, okay? The liquid shadow. This is, ooh, I love that it's like in French and I don't understand what it says. This is in the shade Nearly Apricot, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to say that. I like the packaging, it's really pretty. I like that it's flat, so it's not gonna roll off your desk. And let's see what the claims on this is. A waterproof liquid to powder eyeshadow that delivers effortless blending and smooth crease resistant color. We love crease resistant because you know, I crease so we're gonna put that to the test and I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it out you know very simple natural look today and it's just a little doe foot applicator it looks like the concealer it's like a little rectangle so I'm just gonna start going in without rambling too much and I'm gonna do that much and then just tap it out with my finger and I just want to say that Okay, this feels super smooth and beautiful. Like, that was so easy. Super effortless. It does say effortless, so yeah. I don't even need eyeshadow brushes for this. So if I'm on the go, this is like perfect. I love that like flush of color that matches the blush. I was gonna say that I didn't get everything from the brand because I only got like the things that I feel like I would use. So I don't really use like the eyeliner 
or like the blotting sheets that she has or like the eyeshadows that she has also like the, that are all shimmer i don't really feel like i would use that so that's why i didn't get that but i feel like this is like a perfect every day type of thing like this looks like my go-to current makeup look that i uploaded um on monday i believe and i don't have to go in with like a brush this slap it on and it looks so beautiful i'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line so impressed i really hope this lasts throughout the day because if it does then it's my new favorite brand super impressed i love that so much so much i'm so excited it does dry down to a powder finish i'm like so impressed moving on to some eyelashes where's my mascara ours climax that i got at my last ulta haul let's just go ahead and see because i did try the their real magnet i don't like it <laughs> transferred so bad at the end of the day i look like a freaking raccoon so i will not be continuing to use that we like this one it's providing length and volume and it's separating my lashes very nicely i just got a clump oh no i'm really impressed with this mascara i really like it so far hopefully it doesn't transfer i did get some on my lid here and i do feel like the formula is like more wet than dry actually now that i have it on both eyes i should have waited for that to dry why do i do this to myself just so you know, I did set my forehead, my chin, and my nose with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Powder, I didn't mean to say concealer. And then also, I want to set the blush because like I said, my oily skin does not stand any cream products without being set with powder. So I'm just going to use my Alomar Colorate the Trio thing here. And then I'm just going to mix the two middle shades and then just set that blush. Also, I feel like I need a little bit of bronzer. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe Glamour Bronzer. In, me oh, in the shade megastar i know like using powder products it's like completely against the concept behind rare beauty which is all cream like natural but i can't do just cream i can't <laughs> i feel like my under eyes like super bright right now lastly i'm gonna go in with my lip lip souffle in the shade brave and this is a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish so this is not supposed to be a long lasting liquid lipstick which i can appreciate because this just feels like it's going to be like moussey and like a cloud on your lips if you if you, if you will <laughs> and the applicator is just like a little flat paddle looking applicator and the consistency is very moussey so oh yeah it feels so comfortable right off the bat We'll definitely be either updating the description box or putting somewhere in the video how i feel about each of these products let me just say i am very impressed i didn't think i was gonna like this because it is an all cream product type of brand the foundation the concealer i mean the foundation i do have to try out see if it stays throughout the day if it comes off if it oxidizes it was it doesn't look like it is doing and the match looks pretty close to my skin color my eyebrows are like really bothering me right now also the blush i feel like it's my favorite product out of everything that i tried well the lipstick does feel very comfortable but i prefer something more long wearing but the blush just looks so beautiful and like just like a flush of color and i you can just tap with your finger and then move on type of thing i really enjoyed that the eyeshadow was so so easy to blend with your finger you don't even need a brush just go like kind of like with the blush tap 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 and move on it looks so beautiful hopefully it stays on throughout the day with my oily skin everything at 10 out of 10 and i don't think i'll be trying out any of the other products because like i said i'm not gonna really use them so what's the point that is my thoughts on everything you guys i hope you enjoyed i know i am late to the rare beauty party but i just felt like i needed to put my thoughts out there hopefully help some of you out if you are in the hunt for some of these products if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you leave i would really appreciate it and then i would also appreciate if you subscribe to my channel i do post twice a week see you on my next video bye